Welcome back to our channel exposing the Great Australian Government. In this video we will be looking at the oaths that are prescribed under our 1901 Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act as proclaimed and gazetted and how they have been changed illegally behind the people's backs. So we have the lion and the unicorn which is our primary law Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted and this is the oaths and the affirmations schedule oath I a B do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Victoria her heirs and successors according to law so help me God affirmation I a B do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Victoria, her heirs and successors according to law. In the above oath and affirmation, the treasonous political parties have changed the definition of Queen, heirs, successors, law and God, which equals treason. By the use of treason, political parties change the oath. Our Commonwealth of Australia Public Functionary Seal, creating the Great Seal of THEIR Australia and copywriting our primary law, Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted. Under their changed constitutional definitions in 1973, without a referendum while sitting in the walls of our Commonwealth Parliament, which equals treason. Now the kangaroo and the emu, which has the Roman wreath underneath, um, has no crown and constitutional authority, which I refer to that as the rat and the chook by Joe. Cheers, Joe. 9th of July, 1900, an act to constitute the Commonwealth of Australia. Copyrighted, Commonwealth of Australia. An act to enable the constitutional arrangements affecting the Commonwealth and the states to to be brought into conformity with the status of the Commonwealth of Australia as a sovereign, independent and federal nation, all without a referendum. Treasonous political parties, by using the word status, have dictated the definition of their Commonwealth of Australia. Companies copyright constitutions. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share these videos as all Australians need to see what these political parties have done behind our backs. All the relevant documents can be found under this video. Today we will be looking at the traitor Quentin Bryce pretending to be our lawful Governor General. In the Commonwealth of Australia Gazette number S 181 Wednesday 10th of December 2008 published by the Commonwealth of Australia now we've got the black and white public functionary seal that these that the Australia political parties created um, with the Elizabeth R R meaning Regina Commission passed under the Royal Sign Manual and the Great Seal of Australia, appointing Quentin Alice Louise Bryce, AC, to be the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen of Australia, and her other realms and territories, Head of the Commonwealth, to Quentin Alice Louise Bryce, Companion of the Order of Australia, greeting. We do, by this OUR Commission, under OUR Sign Manual and the Great Seal of Australia, appoint you, Quentin Alice Louise Bryce, to be, during our pleasure, our Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia. And we do authorise, empower and command you to exercise and perform all and singular the powers and directions contained in the letters patent dated 21st of August 2008 relating to the office of the Governor General or in future letters patent relating to that office 
according to such instructions as our Governor-General for the time being may have received or may in future receive from us and according to such laws as are from time to time in force. And we do declare that the powers conferred by this our Commission include any further powers that may in future be assigned to the Governor-General in accordance with Section 2 of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Australia, given at our Court at Balmoral Castle on the 21st of August 2008 by Her Majesty's command, Prime Minister. I can't even read that signature, so I won't even attempt. All right. Here we go again. We've still got the uh, black and white public functionary seal that the political parties created, uh, which I refer to as the rat and the chook, which I heard from another bloke, and I like that. It suits it down to a T. Oath of Allegiance. I, Quentin Alice Louise Bryce, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law. So help me God. And that is Quentin Bryce's signature by the look of it. Sworn, declared and subscribed by the above named Quentin Alice Louise Bryce at Canberra in the Australian Capital Territory before me on 5th of September 2008. And that looks like a two year old just scribbled on a page for the signature for the Chief Justice of Australia go to the next page and we've still got the, the rat and the chook, the black and white kangaroo and emu Oath of Office I, Quinton Alice Louise Bryce do swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II her heirs and successors according to law in the office of Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia and I will do the right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of the Commonwealth of Australia without fear or favour, affection or ill will, so help me God. Quentin Bryce's signature again. Sworn, declared and subscribed by the above named Quentin Alice Louise Bryce at Canberra in the Australian Capital Territory before me on the 5th of September 2008. Another two year old scribble from the Chief Justice of Australia. And next page is, we've still got the black and white rat and a chook, kangaroo and emu proclamation whereas Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has been graciously pleased by commission under her royal sign manual and the great seal of Australia dated 21st of August 2008 to appoint me Quentin Alice Louise Bryce companion of the Order of Australia to be Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia now therefore I proclaim that I have this day made the prescribed oath of allegiance and the prescribed oath of office of the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia before the Honourable, the Chief Justice of Australia, and that I have assumed that office accordingly. Signed and sealed with the Great Seal of Australia on the 5th September 2008. Quentin Bryce signature. Uh, by Her Excellency's command, Prime Minister. Why would a Prime Minister be signing that? I have no idea. But anyway, uh, where was the referendum to change the oath of office or the affirmation of office? The commission from Her Majesty the Queen appointing Ms. Quinton Alice Louise Bryce AC to be the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen of Australia and her other realms and territories, Head of the Commonwealth. To Quinton Alice Louise Bryce, Companion of the Order of Australia, greeting. We do by this our commission, under our sign manual and the great seal of Australia, appoint you, Quinton Alice Louise Bryce, to be during our pleasure our Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia. And we do authorise, empower and command you to exercise and perform all and singular the powers and directions contained in the letters patent 
dated 21 August 2008, relating to the Office of Governor-General, or in future letters patent relating to that office, according to such instructions as our Governor-General, for the time being, may have received or may in future receive from us, and according to such laws as are from time to time in force. And we do declare that the powers conferred by this our Commission include any further powers that may in future be assigned to the Governor-General in accordance with Section 2 of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Commission is signed at its head, Elizabeth R., and was given at our court at Balmoral Castle on 21 August 2008. It is countersigned by Her Majesty's command by the Prime Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd. May I invite the Chief Justice of Australia to inspect the Commission. you to make the oath of allegiance. I, Quentin Alice Louise Bryce, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. I invite you to make the oath of office. I, Quentin Alice Louise Bryce, do swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, in the office of Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia, and I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of the Commonwealth of Australia, without fear or favour, affection or ill will. So help me God. Would you please subscribe to that? Congratulate you upon your appointment. Thank you. Your Excellency, having now taken the oath of allegiance and the oath of office, may I invite you to sign the instrument proclaiming that you have assumed the office of Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia. Proclamation. Whereas Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has been graciously pleased by commission under her Royal Sign Manual and the Great Seal of Australia, dated 21 August 2008, to appoint me, Quinton Alice Louise Bryce, Companion of the Order of Australia, to be Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia, now therefore I proclaim that I have this day made the prescribed oath of allegiance and the prescribed oath of office of the Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia before the Honourable the Chief Justice of Australia and that I have assumed that office accordingly, signed and to be sealed with the Great Seal of Australia 
on 5 September 2008, signed Quinton Bryce, Governor General, countersigned by Her Excellency's Command, Kevin Rudd, Prime Minister. I want you to know that I take on this role with solemnity, impartiality, energy and a profound love for the country we share. I undertake to do my very best to observe, sustain and uphold the principles, convention and rule of law that are our foundation. And as I travel over our rich and testing country into the vibrant and struggling sectors of our community, to our rural and remote places, forever deep in my heart, I promise to be open, responsive and faithful to the contemporary thinking and working of Australian society. Australians, you have entrusted a great deal to me. I will honour your trust wholeheartedly.